Coach, the team has earned some pretty impressive preseason honors, including being picked first in the AAC preseason coaches poll. How does that set the tone for this season? Well, like you said, they're preseason honors. Right now, it's great to have the attention and, and the recognition, but you know, the only thing that matters is what happens at the end of the season. And we're, you know, we're, we got a very talented group and I tell, uh, you know, every team's made up differently. The individual honors are gonna come, you know, with the success of the team. So, uh, great to be picked first, uh, have two guys as listed as one of the top 10 players in, in the conference. But again, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. I have to start with the congratulations because you were named preseason first team all conference. What mm -hmm. leads to your success? I think what leads to my success is not only hard work I'm putting in myself, but also the help and support from the coaches and the people around me. What I have to do is just control every day what I can control and treat every day like it's a new day, I have to get 1% better the next day, and the next day after that I have to get it one more percent better. I think these are just predictions and it's not true until it really happens. Can you talk to me about the chemistry of this group? I think we're, we're pretty unique. Uh, we have 14 different personalities and it's just really fun to get to know different players from different countries. we got so many people from different countries. I think it's been going really good so far. I'm really excited. I feel like this year, adding to the fact that it's my last year and with this team that I feel is really special, I am yeah, really excited to get out there and just have fun with them. It'd be really, really great. Coach, what excites you the most about this group? <sighs> I think the different personalities, right? I, I, we're gonna win. How much are we gonna win? We'll see. You know, there's a lot of factors that come into that. Uh, the locker room, how they all get along, how we stay healthy. But we have some unique personalities and uh, they're fun to coach. Uh, offensively, we're very, very talented. I think we've done, probably done, we, right now we're still in a lot of the teaching phase uh, to get where we wanna get to before November 7th. What are some expectations that have been set for the team this year? Well, obviously all teams want to win here <laughs> in the conference, but what we are supposed to do is just control what we can control every single day. All teams have expectations, but if you don't do what it takes today, it won't, you won't probably get wherever you want to get. Yeah. The one thing we have been focusing really right now is taking one day at, one day at a time one game at a time, giving everything we have and just come out with whatever, like come out of the game knowing that we put everything on the line. I know expectations are high. What is it going to take to get back to conference championship? Wow, Kaylee. Well, um, nine years in this league, we've been in the final six times and three semifinals. So um, we expect to be there. But a lot of things between now and then, right? November and December, challenging non-conference schedule. We're going to get everybody's best punch in January, February. If we, I know I've said it all along, if we, we go ahead and take care of business every day, the end is going to take care of itself. You know, we don't talk about the conference championship, the regular season championship. That doesn't come up. We all can't wait to watch. Thanks for talking with me today, Coach. You got it, Kelly.